Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive in this late 2007 Mac Mini, and I'll be upgrading it with an SSD. And this is just one I had sitting around. I'll put a link in the description to some SSDs I recommend if you need to actually buy an SSD to do an upgrade like this. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the first thing I need to do is turn this over, and you may want to put a cloth down if you need to protect the uh, computer or the work surface. I'm not super concerned about it. We're going to take one of these pry tools here and I'll just pry around the perimeter. So I'm just going to pry out gently. There's little clips in here that are holding it closed. I'm just going to work my way down. You see we're increasing the gap here. So I'm putting pressure on this and prying it apart with my fingers like this. So I'm going to shove one of these little guitar pick looking things in here so it doesn't close back up. I'll keep working my way around. I'll go to the other side, do the same thing. There we go. I'll try and get this back edge up a little bit. Make sure you don't cut yourself on this tool. <laughs> if you slip, there we go, I'm in. There we go. It does make it more difficult to do when you have a camera between you and the device. But once we got it started, it's coming apart now. Just a little more. There we go. Okay, there's the inside of the aluminum part. A little bit of dust in there, but not bad. And these are all the clips we were pressing in on. So we're pressing in on those and we're releasing them from this groove. So now that we have it open, let me zoom in here a little more. So next we need to take off the airport antenna. And that's right here. And we need to squeeze those in, but if you squeeze them too tight, they can break very easily. So I'll just do one at a time. I'll use this little spudger tool to go in there. And I want to push it back just enough till it clears. So that one's cleared. It hasn't come all the way out yet, but do the same here. And now that's off. And I just held this up in the back because it'll tip forward while I'm recording this. Now I can pull that out of the way. The spring is captive on here, so we shouldn't lose it. But that's exactly what someone would say right before they lose their spring, so be careful. Next we need to remove this cable. I'm having trouble getting a light on this, so hopefully this helps. I'm shining a flashlight on it. So there's a little tab right here. So you have this ribbon and this tab, and you want to push up on this about... You want to push up on this just a tiny bit to release that cable. So I'm putting this spudger tool under it, and I'm just lifting up. And there we go. I'll do the same to the other side. Okay, and this should lift right out. So there we go. Next, we'll turn this around here. So you want to look for this battery right here. And next to it, there's a little cable right there. And I'm going to use my tweezers to pull that off. Okay. 
There we go. Next we're going to remove the screw here and it's inside of this recess. So I'm going to stick a screwdriver down there and I'm using this small screwdriver. I don't know what size it is, but find one that fits. And it's hard to use like a bit set on this. It's easiest to use a regular screwdriver. There we go. Just lost it. There we go. The next one is over here on the left. That screwdriver is not very magnetic. Next I'll go to the opposite corner, which is right here. And finally we'll go right in here. So these are the screws I removed. The first, third, and fourth are like the one on the left, and the second one is the one on the right. Okay, so now I can lift this up and out of here. Carefully don't pull anything off like this cord here. Okay, we have it removed. You could clean this fan out if you wanted to. You could also replace this battery. You can upgrade the processor in this, I guess. Although I don't know if it's worth buying a processor to upgrade. And you can put more memory in. I have one gig in here. I think there was a bug. I had two gig in here and I think it quit working. So I had to take the one out and I think it was actually the slot, not the module that I had. So I'll set this aside. I'll come over here and I want to remove these screws here that are holding this in the side. So I'm using a number two screwdriver to do this. Next, I'll remove these two screws. And those four screws are all the same size. So now I'll slide the drive this way, like so. And I can lift it out. This is the 80 gig original drive. And we're going to stick the SSD in in the same orientation. So we have a problem here, because you see the SSD is quite a bit thinner than the regular drive. So what I'm going to do is make a little handle here out of masking tape, press that in real firm, and then I can set it in here and line it up with the connector while I slide it in. So I'll first tilt it to get it in. Let me get a better angle. So I'm going to take this, I'll pivot it in to get it in. My tape's a little long here. Let me get that out of the way. I don't want that to get caught. Okay. And then you can see the port down there. I'll lift this up and then I can slide it in. I'll stick my finger over here and now we have it slid in. I'll put this first screw in and I'm not going to tighten these until I have all the screws in. Then I'll do one last tightening and they don't have to be super tight. These SSDs are super lightweight. So I can lift up on this tape now to help guide that screw in. There we go. Now I can take this off and throw it away. Okay, they're all tight now. So my fan's not looking too bad, otherwise I'd clean that. I'll bring this back over. And you have this connector here is going to go into there. So I'll put it down like this. And this airport cable was behind this little notch. Okay, that looks good. You don't want to force any of this. So now I'll put the longest screw in first and that has this little like kind of notch thing on the CD drive. I'm using a magnetic screwdriver to get it down the hole and I have to line it up. There we go. Okay. Now I'll reconnect this connector here. I didn't get a good shot of that, but I just used the tweezers and my finger to guide it in and push it in. Next I'll put this ribbon back in. 
the slot. Okay, it should go in super easy, like so. I just set it in there till it bottoms out. I'll take my spudger tool and I'll press down on both sides. This should all be easy to do. If anything's hard, then it's in there wrong. And now we'll go back to this Wi-Fi antenna. I'll stick it on here on the spring, and then I'll press it over these clips, trying not to break them. So I got it over one. This other one's giving me a little trouble. I'm going to push it in just slightly. There's a little pin right down there. I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle until it goes in the hole. And now that's on there. Good to go. So at this point, if you feel comfortable, you can plug this in and test it and make sure it works before you put this thing back on because this was probably one of the harder parts was to get this thing off. So that SSD I put in there was blank. So I'm going to be installing the original software on here because I wanted to have a Mac with the original software. I think it was 10.4 on it, the original for its time. But if you are done with that, you can just take this, slide it on here, make sure everything lines up like so. There, you press it together and it'll be locked. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.